Hello dear students. Welcome back to the second part of chapter 1. Basically the term generation refers to how hardware and software has evolved over time. The computers that were developed from 1940 to 1956 were called the first generation computers. The first generation computers used vacuum tubes. As a result, they used a lot of power and generated a large amount of heat. The first generation computers were very large and expensive. Some examples of the first generation computer are ENIAC, EDVAC, UNIVAC 1. A vacuum tube consists of a glass bulb and wire. The wire is used to carry data in the form of electronic signals. The second generation computers used transistors instead of vacuum tubes. As transistors are smaller than vacuum tubes, the computer became much more smaller in size. They also became cheaper and faster. Some computers of second generation are IBM 7000, Atlas and Mark III. nineteen sixty four to nineteen seventy one was the period of the third generation computers integrated circuits were introduced during the development of the third generation computers an integrated circuit or an ic is as small as the transistor but it can work as fast as as thousands of them. Integrated circuits made computers faster, cheaper and smaller than the second generation computers. They used less electricity and made fewer mistakes. The computers developed since 1971 up to the present are called the fourth generation computers. The fourth generation computer uses microprocessor. A microprocessor consists of small silicon chip on which thousands of circuits are placed. The fourth generation computer are smaller portable and cheaper. They use less electricity and produce less heat. They are more efficient and reliable. Some computers which belong to this generation are IBM PCs, DEC-10, Computers that are currently being researched and developed are the fifth generation computers. These computers are the most advanced computers. Scientists are now trying to develop the fifth generation computer in a way that they can think of their own. This is called artificial intelligence. Robots work on this technology. The aim of fifth generation is to be able to solve highly complex problems including decision making and logical reasoning. 
Now try to answer this question. Which of the following term is associated with the development of fifth generation computer? That's right. Scientists are trying to develop artificial intelligence with the fifth generation of computer. Now, what are supercomputers? Supercomputers are the most complex computers. A supercomputer is a computer with very high computing speed. They are used for weather forecasting, climate research, oil and gas exploration and many other things. Param 8000 is considered India's first supercomputer. Now there is a chart through which you can understand the difference between each generation of computers. The present day computers are used at different places offices, schools and at homes but they still have some limitations. Let us discuss the characteristics and the limitations of computer. Under characteristics of computer, we have five strengths. Speed. The computers are very fast as compared to human beings. Accuracy. The computers will give you accurate result if the input provided to them is correct and reliable. Reliability and diligence. Computers are built with integrated circuits and are more reliable. They do not give wrong results as they do not get tired or bored. High storage capacity. The computer has a large memory which can store a huge amount of data. The data can be used whenever required. Versatility Computers can be used for different types of tasks from writing letters, drawing, editing pictures, listening to music and watching videos. Under the characteristics of computer, there are some limitations too. The first one is lack of decision making. The computer cannot think and take decisions on its own. They have to be programmed according to the need by us. Zero IQ Computers are machines and have zero IQ. They can only perform the task according to the instructions given to them and cannot make a change by themselves if required. The computer has no feelings. It doesn't have emotions like human being. Did you know that Lady Ada was known as the first programmer? ABC, that is, a channel of Berry computer, was the first electronic computer. 
there are some exercises and some notes related to the chapter which is going to help you. I hope this video was quite informative to you. Thank you for watching.